Let's get to our number one story this morning. It is breaking news as a judge in San Bernardino has made a decision on a controversial policy on gender identification in the Chino Valley School District. It's been the focus of several heated debates. KCO News reporter Rick Montanez is live in San Bernardino with the decision that came just a few minutes ago. Rick. Yeah, Amy, in fact, about 15 minutes ago, Judge Thomas Garza granted a temporary restraining order, which will put this contentious policy on hold, at least until there are further hearings on the matter. Here outside of the courtroom, there are uh, advocates who are celebrating this, calling this a victory for their fight to have this overturned. Now, here is the policy, a question. It mandates that teachers and district staff report to parents if their child wants to identify as a different gender or change their pronouns. The attorney general's office is arguing it violates students' constitutional and civil rights. They say it puts students at risk for being forcibly outed to their parents, which could lead to some students facing harm in their own home. The state argues that has actually already happened. Now, Judge Garza also agreed, saying the policy singles out a protected class, meaning trans and gender nonconforming students, exposing them to clear and present danger, he said. The district is arguing this policy would bring parents into the fold when students are going through the social transition at school, and they say it is a critical need for that type of change on, on campus, I should say. Now, the court will hear more testimony and evidence at the next hearing, which is set for October 13th, to see what is next in this controversial policy. We have been following this extensively, and we will continue to follow it and see how things shake out. Reporting live in San Bernardino, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. All right, Rick, thank you so much.